Song show, song show 27, uh, featuring William Drake, uh, who you've just heard a song from. Uh, William, thank you so much for joining us today, and what a great song to start off with. Um, at, at risk of sounding like a, an intellectual troglodyte here, I'm going to say again to you what I said uh, off camera, uh, that I always enjoy your very dynamic chords that you put into um, your songs, and they just uh, create such a... Um, just a broad set of overtones that, that really uh, make for a, such a great sound. Um, William, tell us a little bit about yourself. And uh, we know each other from the Cleveland music scene. Uh, tell us about your music and what drives you. Oh, what drives me? <laughs> <laughs> and you can talk about what drives you insane like the rest of us, too. I mean, like... Yeah, right. Well, uh, <laughs> you talk about dynamics. Uh, I could go off on that for a long time. Yeah, uh, sure. Why not? It's, it's a music it, show. I'm always cognizant of the way that the, the human mind works and as an audience member I, I pay attention to what what works for me and, and try to right, incorporate right. it. You know, one of the things I, I, I occasionally teach a performance workshop and it's one of the things I talk about in, in the way you present yourself, the way you dress, the way you play and dynamics addressing how the human mind works and, and, and dynamics and how that plays into it and keeping it interesting, keeping people engaged, keeping their minds engaged. That's, yes, that's indeed. a big thing. Um, but yeah, um, talk about me. I don't know, I've got, uh, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm involved in so many things right now and, and all of them are so disparate. And they're all yes, like, they are, which is what makes them all so interesting. You want to just uh, get rattle off the list for us? Well, I'm, Maybe I'm still brief. working in the Smoke and Fez Monkeys. Which yes, is out one of, of my favorite out, acts. Out of this world urban crazy jug band. Yes. Uh, it's hard to figure out how to describe them. <laughs> um, I think that was pretty accurate. Yeah. And uh, 
that's that's pretty zany. And then the the yeah. fiddle player. And oh, I, she by the a, way, what what instrument do you play in that group? Just uh, for everybody's reference. Uh, I started off just sim- simply playing the the jingle stick, which yes. is, is kind of like a vertical percussion yes. thing, uh, with Perfect. all kinds of. Uh, it's got a drum and a cymbal and a a whole mishmash of a bunch of crap in between of it. Right. Perfect. Uh, but and always adding things to it. And uh, at one point, I had a music box tied to it. It was pretty cool. Nice. I, at wow. the end of the night, I'd start the music box up, and nobody knew where it was coming from. It was great. Absolutely. But you know, cowbells and 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 uh, tambourines and all kinds. Anything I can find that makes noise, I strap it on there, and it makes it's a good time. Do you and guys? Then, uh, uh, does anybody like ever say, uh, William? Can you give us a little bit more cowbell? I'd like to hear some more. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Thanks a lot. We'll, we'll move thank along. Thank you very much. Like, I don't hear that enough. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I feel really bad now. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so, so we got the Smoking Fast Monkeys. What else are you planning? Well, then the fiddle player in the Smoking Fast Monkeys and I formed our own duo called Summer yes. Pool. Yes. Is, uh, Which I love. It's S-O-M-M-E-R-F-U-G-L. It's a, it's a Norwegian, Norwegian or Danish yes. word for butterfly. And we're doing totally different stuff it's all like uh, ballads and, and love songs and, yes. and uh, torch songs and things like that and uh, one of which i posted in the preview actually what's uh, that one, one of which i posted in the preview oh, on the yeah event. that was an early video of us from becky's uh, uh yes indeed during, during our, our t- doing our typical closing number of taste of death uh-huh. but uh, Very cool. it's been a real outlet for my own composing because uh, since we started it uh, about two and a half years ago i've written about 25 or 30 songs for it Nice. And, uh, Very cool. So, so that's that's close to me. I'm also filling in uh, on electric guitar with the Zydeco Kings currently. Nice. Uh, filling in with them. They want me to be their permanent guitarist, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I have a I have a thing going with a friend of mine and my son called Highly Functioning Cult, which is oh, totally yes. experimental alternative music, which yes, sounds indeed. a lot like science sci-fi uh, soundtrack music. Sweet. That's a lack of a better way to describe it. I think, again, it succinctly did. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so all four of those are like totally opposite corners of the, of the compass there. They're just, and uh, they, they just, re- each one of them requires something different on me. And they're, it's, it's a lot of fun. All of them are fun. Now, not to mention, and I don't want to be living in the past here, and I'm sure maybe you get sick of hearing about it as well. But um, I also very much enjoyed your work in Emerald Frequency, which, of course, obviously is no longer playing together uh, for various reasons. But uh, a remarkable body of work with, with that group as well. Well, yeah, I don't know that you could say that we're not really playing together. We aren't necessarily actively playing together. Yes, my daughter true. had the nerve to, to get up and move <laughs> yeah. to North Carolina. How about that? Jeez. <laughs> Boy, you raise them right and then they abandon you. Uh, <laughs> But as I always tell her that, you know, uh, other bands are going to come and go, but uh, Emerald Frequency probably always is going to really kind of exist, whether Absolutely. it's sleeping or not, because we're, she's my daughter. So we'll always, exactly. you know, we'll always get together and play music, so, you know, whether it's a, a, only on holidays or whatever. And, and of course, any time that happens, uh, any one of us would be uh, extremely grateful to be able to hear that. So, yeah. who knows, keep, maybe we'll try and get you all in a hangout or something. I know. I keep telling her next time she comes, we would do, go and do an open mic at the, spy, the Barking Spider. Oh, yeah. At least. Definitely. But, yeah, that was that we used to do a lot of Celtic and a lot of medieval types, you know, uh, Celtic-y flavored stuff. And uh, that was that was even more different from all the other things that I mentioned. So, that was, that was Absolutely. I still love that. Um, William, uh, I don't know if you were in studio mode for the first song, so before we go to your next one, make sure you're in studio mode. Yeah, I switched uh, it already. Okay, great. And um, what are we saying? What, what do you have first next? Okay, uh, just just uh, um, uh, maybe you were asking about me, and this is maybe this is a good song that kind of describes an aspect of me. It's called Refuge. Awesome. awesome. Tighten it up a little bit. To keep that from both. Come stand close to me in sweet tranquility, taking refuge in my smile. I won't speak a word, but you can rest assured. Like a tender rain that washes away the pain, 
too kind uh, <laughs> it's, our, it's our modus operandi modus here at the uh, here at the song show um, um, you know you and i have a uh, shared connection uh mr jim snively back in cleveland and of course uh that's some of what i try and emulate here on the show just a good supportive environment for songwriters um of course while you were playing that tune and i'm not sure if this is something jim said or maybe it might have been charlie brown at the same uh open mic uh, but if you if you've lost your audience, you're dead. You know, it doesn't matter how good you play the song. It doesn't matter how skilled you are. If you haven't engaged everybody, engaged everybody. Yeah, and so getting back again to the dynamic sound that you have there, it's you know what you are definitely doing is capturing people's attention and really capturing the mood there with the tunes. You know. Well, I found that you know I I went to Spider one time and I heard a um, a very well respected. Um, a musician from the Cleveland area. In fact, we opened up for him, and he he played sure. after us. And I won't mention his name, but uh, of course, know, uh, we, just, we sat and listened to him for a while. Played, <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he played for a while, but he was playing one instrument, and he was playing sure, it instrumentally. Sure. Uh -huh. And everything after about ten or fifteen minutes, it became the same. And yes. I, and I and I yes. looked at Holly, and I said, "Look around you." And all of a sudden, he had them for the first few minutes. And I looked around, and people were doing their cell phones, and they were, yeah, going, they yeah. were talking, and he lost them. Yes. Because of the steady hum, it, not only in volume, uh, dynamics is about volume, it's about interest, it's about uh, different uh, different types of songs, different rhythms, yes. Different, yes. Every, different instruments. You know, there's so many ways to be dynamic, and, and, and he was playing excellently, but he lost them because he was going at one level with one instrument. That probably sounded amazing, by the way. It was. It was fantastic. Yes. Yes. But it, especially if you're a solo musician and you don't have anybody else to help you change things up. you got to work it. You've got to figure out those ways to, to make the dynamics happen. It comes in volume. It comes in, in different style or whatever. Absolutely. It's, it's See, I, I accomplish my dynamics through various hackery tricks, you know, such as just badly playing various instruments. So, you know, <laughs> whatever, that's how whatever I keep it, it takes. It. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it takes. So, <laughs> it's all magic tricks. Like like Paul Simon said, uh, you know, we're all one-trick ponies here. So. Indeed. So, uh, what do you have next for us, Oh, uh, okay. Um, this is a, a kind of example of what happens when I, uh, the way that I write songs. Um, sometimes I'll just, I don't even know what I want to write about, but I'll have a, a, a phrase or a sentence in my head and I'll just say, okay, oh, yeah. write that on the piece of paper and, and let it go from there. And it just kind of opens the door and everything else flows right into it. And this right, was right. the first, first um, 
line that came to me was Once Upon a Time. It's almost like an invitation, you know, beckoning you into a come and explore. Yeah, yeah. Set up, set up. Uh Let's put that in the right key here. Sorry. That's all right. that struck me very early on was she turned the sadness into uh, wine and song and I'm not the type of person to sit and you know analyze lyrics and do all that kind of stuff um, but do you think you could tell us a little bit about what's behind that one it's it's a very very deep deep song there um maybe uh, the search we all have for healing mm. uh, I mean we all we all suffer the slings and arrows of whatever the life and outrageous and misfortune is, indeed <laughs> what, it's, what it's throwing at us all the time yes and we we search we search for ways that we can be healed and sometimes we don't even know how to search and some of us are so lost they don't know where to start yes but and i find that as musicians that we're somehow more susceptible to the uh to the slings and arrows of life 
not to say that it doesn't affect other people just as well, but perhaps we open ourselves more to it. Yeah, we, we tend to have more open hearts as, as artists in general. Um, but I think maybe maybe it's just my own perspective. But musicians, and, and particularly and poets, tend to tend to leave themselves open and, and don't always protect themselves from. Yes, yes. That's I mean, agree. It, it's a double-edged sword because when you open yourself up, it, it you you do create and you do tend to reach out to people. Yes, but okay. then you have to be remembered to. To, to deal with the consequences heart. of that. <laughs> yeah, and protect yourself and protect your own heart, and you don't always remember to do that. Yes, yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's a beautiful song. Um, we, we probably have time for one more if you wanted to uh, give us another song, and then we'll oh, talk geez. a little bit about what you have coming up. And, and... Uh, and then if I got one more, then I'm going to do... I can give you a couple more if you'd like to do two. I did, I did kind of talk a lot over the very first part of things, so... Um, uh, what's coming up? Yes, um, it, things are a little bit quiet for both the uh, Fez Monkeys and Summerfall at the moment, but uh, maybe that's because we're all chicken to leave our houses and trudge out in the snow. <laughs> uh, yes, Zydeco yes, Kings, I'll be filling in with them in a number of different places. Uh, and from right Worcester to Akron are going to be playing Jillies, I guess, and uh, playing down. Uh, which uh, Jillies is that new club that's opened up in Akron. I haven't even been down okay. there, so I don't know going on with that but uh, I, I hardly leave like the five mile radius of my house so which is now in Youngstown <laughs> yeah I was going to welcome everybody to the great snowstorm of January 2014 but it yes, right. really happened it's coming though I, th I hope so we'll see I'm ready for it yeah same here well I'll, I'll uh, if not leave you at least next I'll play you the a song that uh, is kind of like has been a common thread through a lot of my musical projects that I've done it's been the one song that I've played with some in so many different contexts and I wrote it in 1987 and I've played it in about six different contexts so um, wow, wow. Um, it's you know I always make the joke that every songwriter is is required by law to write at least one train song. <laughs> well, I don't know, but anyway, this is this is my train song. It's called Rockaway. Okay. Right, right on. <laughs> Fence post leaner from my rocking chair in the night. I see it all. And when the wind dies down, I swear I hear the sound of a diesel locomotive heading off somewhere. Heading yeah. off somewhere. Tracks tonight, midnight specials light. The city of New Orleans wrong and long. If I could have another dream, I wanna hear the whistle scream, and I would go to sleep to a hobo's lullaby. Sing me the lullaby. Stories bound to stay on so
best post leader From my rocket chair at midnight I see it all Well played, sir. Very well done with your train song. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank um, you so much. I did just realize while you were playing that uh, Daniel McGinnis, who was supposed to come on, uh, has not uh, acknowledged his presence. So if you did want to give us just one more to end out on, um, that would be okay with me and perhaps everybody else. So... Um, maybe Unless will, that last one set the mood, and that's that, and let's just go with it. I really <laughs> like that right, last because one. Because I started yeah, out, and the first song I did today was yeah. a song called The Other Road to Home, which is yes. I wrote for a friend of mine who lives out in California who was, uh, at that point, she was going through bipolar, menopause, alcohol, and drug abuse addiction, and wow. let's see if I got them all, all at the <laughs> same time. <laughs> Isn't that enough? Jeez. Yeah, so I was. Tr I, I wrote kind of a song dedicated to her that was that was kind of like trying to give her some hope to get through it all. And um, so maybe I'll close out with kind of a companion song. Almost the the, the song. The last song I'll do is kind of addressing the concept of we can't always see around the corner. We don't always get to view what's coming next. Right. Um, but we need to try and have the faith to just keep going, keep moving forward because uh, good things are waiting for us. And um, it's it, my analogy is stepping across a river when you can't see the other side, but you keep right. going from stone right. to stone. What a great and, message to end on as well, uh, William. And, so. and, it, uh, and it's called, and I, before, yes, it's called The River. And I want to say uh, thank you so much, Jonathan, for having me. And oh, thank for you for, for coming on. And, uh, this has been a... Oh no, we made it all the way through and then the band went through. <laughs> Sorry, you froze for just a second there.
time is a fine state of mind And out on a great adventure I'm crossing that stream And I'm building that dream You can build your home See you in Song once you start playing, it is one of my favorites that you do. Uh, nice, great uh, song, great set. Uh, yes, awesome. wonderful set. Uh, William, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Please feel free to hang out and listen to the rest of our performance today. Uh, I think I will. Excellent, very good. Far out. Uh, and thank you again, of course, for joining us. Uh, now is the time on the show where I hold the rest of you captive for 15 minutes. Now, um, I have a few songs to play for everybody here today. And then uh, following me, we're going to have some music by Jason West Jones. And then uh, a treat from uh, Cutthroat Reef as well. Uh, possibly Cecily may play us a tune, but she's here just to listen and hang out. Um, but uh, perhaps we can conjole her into uh, playing some music. We'll see. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and switch over into the infamous uh, studio mode. Um, well, you may you may have to take yourself out of studio mode just to. They have this weird bandwidth thing that. Here we go. Switching to studio. I'm there, folks. I'm doing it. I'm live. Okay. So, anyways. Sounds good, man. Hey, thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. That's my portion of the show. Everyone have a good night. Okay, so this first song is um, Tell the Truth. Is called Dream It's Magic. Let me just double check that everything's good. All these techie things are working. The heartbeats of the hangout. So here we go. Uh, this tune is kind of, you know, um, I want to expand on it a little bit. Uh, it's really, it, it's about kind of seeing the potential in, in every moment and not quite being so hung up on, you know, I don't know, the, the outcomes and the obstacles and things like that, but just letting your mind go and letting your uh, self um, move into that potential. So here it goes. <laughs> It's all the same We fall into these dull drums And lose our momentum When you look inside your pain You can use it to enlighten It doesn't have to frighten you Today turn out the same but you lose it if you don't try if you let it get by you there's never been a trick a rule that you must follow a secret to life and happiness but when you dream it's magic you create in thoughts create in worlds and then you let go of sadness Across the universe and on and on You dance until you crash into the sun and Then you find yourself another reason To go on Just a game, but you lose it if you don't try. 
There is it in your answers. There's nothing you can do. You can hold it in your hand and try to be a warning. But when you dream it's magic, you're creating thoughts, creating worlds, and then you let go of sadness. And you're launched across the universe and on and on. You dance until you crash into the sun. And then you find yourself another reason to go on. Dream it's magic. You're creating thoughts, creating worlds, and then you let go of sadness. And you launch across the universe and on and on. You dance until you crash into the sun. And then you find yourself in a You know, as first, as soon as I started singing, oh, I was like, great. and then, see, right? Uh, just just so everybody aware, that's that's technique. All right, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> um, hey, we've got a CD featured down there in the bottom. It may just be because uh, Cecily's camera's turned off, but uh, it's as good a time as any to say that uh, Cecily Link, who has joined us today, um, has completed her CD, um, Electric Blue Fantastic, and it is available on camp right now so please uh check it out it's a great cd it's uh, a collection of very very wonderful songs and uh it's electrically fantastic it is indeed um so uh, the next song i have is uh is a song that is going to be featured in the season finale of television uh which is going to be coming out Sweet. in the next couple weeks here uh, final episode of the season. Obviously, that's what a season finale is. Yes. Yeah, right on, uh, man. Yes, indeed. So uh, we, um, we. This is the song. It is. Uh, it's basically. It's kind of a transitional song, moving on to other things. Uh, you'll get the picture um, as it goes in. It is called. I don't know. You'll figure it out when I play the chorus. So it's fine. Right on. <laughs> Say goodbye, let it die. I've been thinking about what you said And how I've been holding back And wasting all my life No matter what I try to do End up hurting you. I just don't know why. I don't want someone else to know you. But I don't know if I can try. Well, I like this door and I don't know why. Cause it's all I wanted for all my life. And I don't want to say. And I know it's true, but I can't explain There's something here that still remains And I don't want to let it die I think of how far we've come We've been through hell and then some But we've laughed more than we cried Now that we're moving on, well, it just feels so wrong, like I'm losing all my life. Well, I don't want someone else to know you, but I don't think that I can try. Well, I like 
this door and I don't know why Cause it's all I wanted for all my life And I don't wanna say goodbye And I know it's true but I can't explain There's something here that still remains And I don't wanna let it die Even though we said goodbye I just want you to know The only reason that I lied Was so I'd let you go and die Yeah I need you more than anything in my life Cause it's all I wanted for all my life I don't wanna say goodbye No, it's true, but I can't explain There's something here that still remains And I don't wanna let it man hey thank you very much appreciate that yeah that was awesome <laughs> Thanks, guys. i dig that buddy i you know i really do like that song I, I i don't mind tooting my horn every now and then and and that song really came from a special place um and and you know i i don't know we all have these kind of goal posts maybe as songwriters or musicians and i definitely set out for a very particular sound and type of song there and and i i, I feel very happy with it i felt like i kind of just really set out to do that doesn't happen very often a lot of times um i am just uh playing a set of chords and a bunch of random syllables comes out and that makes the song and and some of my you know some great work comes out that way too but anyways, you um, you coaxed the uh, Leo out of me there to say yes. Thank you so much. I am great, and let me tell you why. <laughs> well, it just it really it really complements your your style. Like I don't know because you like to hit high notes, yeah, and yeah, you like yeah, you like to be multi multifaceted, and you like to have a lot of different uh, kind of multi multiculturalism to your licks, yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah, yeah. So if that's what you've been going for, you really kind of captured that well in that song. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. I definitely I really appreciate it. And I've actually kind of almost gone over my time here, so I'm just going to do one more song, and we're going to move on uh, to you, Jason. So um, this last tune, uh, I just released a demo of. It's my first... Uh, actually, I can say that this song is a result of the uh, fundraiser that I did, the Indiegogo campaign. While I did not reach my laudy, uh, or gaudy uh, goal of, of funding the whole album in a studio, uh, what I did manage to do was get enough money to buy some decent studio equipment. And so that first song was the result of me, hey, finally being able to multi-track and do all sorts of other uh, neat stuff. It's funny how that happens, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. you, you get in a rut and then you get some equipment and then you, you just as soon as you hear what you're doing, it just starts opening doors. Which you're going to show us a little bit about uh, later, uh, Jason. <laughs> so I'm excited to hear that as well. Um, but anyways, uh, you're not going to hear the full band version right now. You're just going to hear uh, the, the guitar version, which is, of course, what drove all this. So. And you're also hearing brand new strings that are constantly going out of tune because they're uh, <laughs> classical, but that's when they sound the best. So. Yeah. Uh... So this is called All My Time. You always know just what to say. Know exactly what I need to hear. No, I know I'll never end up listening. Your words enough to keep me standing here. And I'll tell you now I'd spend all my time trying to find a way to be near. Find 
find a way to be near to you well, whether we lose or we win you can find out where we begin and where we end There's just one thing that I want to say to you The only thing I hope that you will hear Is that I'd be content to sit here silently If only to know that you'll be near Say it again, I'll spend all my time trying to find a way to be near to you. All my time trying to find a way to be near to you. Whether we lose or we win, you can find out where we begin and where we end. For the song show. Uh, up next, we have uh, Jason nice. West Jones uh, for a few songs for us as well. So thanks for listening. And here is Jason. Jason, thank you so much for joining the show. How are you today, my friend? All right, all right. Let me get you here. Now, now we were talking about um, a little bit of you know get, gaining new hardware and the changes and uh, things it can make for your music sound. Uh, tell us about the wonderful piece of equipment you've acquired here and what kind of magnets we're in store with. Therefore. Well, um, I, it's just a, it's a looper. It's a really good looper. I can, obviously can't name the name because I don't have their permission, but um, yeah. it's, uh, it's a really good looper. It's, it's pretty abstract, and uh, it, it gives me the ability to uh, have a, a rhythm guitar for lead. So that's, man, you know, I just I couldn't welcome that enough into my life. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know what that's like. Yes, indeed. So I'll start off with uh, just a little bit of improv, and then I'll just go into a song, and then we can uh, push it on down to make or whatever, because I know we're kind of pinched. we got a lot of artists. Uh, all right. Thank you. 
Okay, now let's get going with something a little better. <laughs> no worries. Hey, there we go. Say enough, I'll be eating like a bird. Don't wanna think it out and blow off the fuels. I'll never start, I'll never stop. I'm too confused. It's just so competitive, competitive, repetitive repression without doubt. It's just so competitive, expensive, repetitive repression without doubt. But it didn't tune the rhythm of the planets, it's like I can live without. Ha ha ha. Where this is going, my friend. <laughs> I'm liking it quite a Definitely. bit. Definitely. That was like 50% improv, and uh, I'm still trying <laughs> to hang it for it. But yeah, man, it's a pretty, it's a pretty trippy process. I really like the delay pedal, but obviously it can get confusing. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. But I tell you what, um, you know, adding the looping pedal does add that improv element into uh, solo performances, which is something. Um, I've always been a big fan of just any kind of improv or change it up. In fact, uh, Aaron said off the camera in the chat that uh, one thing that uh, the song show is kind of, I don't know, it, it's different every time, you know, and, and, and that's definitely in, in the vein of uh, appreciating jam bands that are trying to give you a different experience every time. Uh, anyway, so I've managed to talk over yet another one of my guest sets, which is, you know, <laughs> which is cool, man. It's what I do, you know. Um, yeah, one other thing I wanted to mention, uh, well, actually, two things. Uh, make sure you're in studio mode. Uh, and secondly, um, 
is that uh, looper piped in to the same mixer as everything else? Because it's a little bit faint compared to everything else. Uh, that's well, that's the thing. I'm not actually my board isn't actually going into the sound card. Okay, this, gotcha. this microphone. I'm actually this. There's a microphone. You're mic right in the room. Yeah. Right. So okay. uh, yeah, if it was a little faint, uh, I probably could come up a little bit. That uh, the looper level is actually down a lot. So let me check that out real quick. Yeah. Why don't we? I'll probably just go ahead and transition to a quick little jam here, and it'll just be an instrumental, but... Uh... Right on. A little better? song show, sucker. What you gonna do about it? I'm rocking a looper pedal. I bet you forgot about it. I want to thank Mick, Mick for uh, really, like, putting up with all that. that was, it's like I cleared the remarkable. room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, nobody's sitting in front of their computers anymore. <laughs> and Aaron's leaving. Great job, Jason. Thanks a lot. I know, I know. No, I'm, I'm really enjoying this uh, this direction with the looper. And um, it sounds like <laughs> the only thing is to work out the kinks of the, uh, the volume levels. But it's sounding really cool. I'm enjoying it. So... Uh, definitely keep going with that. Was the second uh, part, was the volume a little bit better? It was better, but I think it could have been louder still. So Okay. Very okay. cool. I want to check with Mickey here real quick. Uh, Mickey, are we? Is, has our man arrived? Is he here or are we still? Okay, you guys are ready to go. Perfect. So um, we're going to go ahead and cut over to Cutthroat Reef. Uh, Jason, thank you so much for coming on and playing as always. It is uh, sincerely a treat to have you on the show and I look forward to having you on again. In fact, uh, we have you scheduled for a featured artist uh, spot coming up in the future, so uh, I'm also looking forward to that. Uh, yes, indeed. Okay, uh, Mickey and Co. Um, Cutthroat Reef, thank you for joining us. And everybody else, uh, please mute because they will not have headphones, so there will be an echo. Okay, muting. 
and I'll keep talking while they're uh, getting everything ready and getting ready to uh, unmute their uh, microphone. It's just, you know, uh, oh, we have a CD being held up. Um, you know, actually, uh, just before you guys get going, cut through it, um, William, I need to do a promotion for Cecily, but do you have a little promotion you'd like to uh, put through for us real quick uh, while we're waiting for setup? Yeah, it's just that's from the shameless promotion department. I just wanted to. I'm just we're full of it on this show. Please go ahead. <laughs> that's just the the the, uh, the graphic that on our on our new CD. Let me put you on um, the main cam. Just need one more spot here. Beautiful. So, yeah, it was it was painted by a, a very elusive Vietnamese artist who lives wow. in in, in uh, uh, Ho Chi Minh City, and she was supposed to paint me. Well, this was just her, her original sketch, and then we liked it so much we just went with it. Nice. And, uh, and it goes kind of goes with the uh, the title of the album, which is Somewhere in the Wind. Nice. Very good. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Yeah, really. Absolutely. And where can folks pick up the CD if they want to? Uh, right now, I'm not on iTunes yet, so okay. it's basically just at our shows or connecting directly to me because I have it set up through PayPal and, and very cool like that. So, folks, find William Drake's uh, uh, page either on Google Plus, and he also has a uh, Facebook page both for himself and for Summer Fool. So, right. um, you can find all that information. We'll post it in the event page as well after the program's over. Um, Thank you. Very welcome. And folks, uh, Cecily uh, Link, who was with us today, she has completed her album. It is for sale, and she is playing on Street Jelly. Um, I believe that's tonight, isn't it? Yes. Uh, at, in about, in fact, starting now, I believe. So uh, you can go to her uh, page, uh, Cecily Link, and find out uh, the details for the Street Jelly concert. Uh, Cutthroat Reef, I'm so sorry for cutting into your time. Um, thanks for joining us, guys. It's always a real pleasure to have you on the show. Oh, yeah. Hold on just a second. Going That's all right. Studio mode right now. Very good. Very good. Yep. Just had to get things rolling. And our man over here on the on the left, at least on the left for me, um, we I believe I've heard you play before, uh, Cox, right? And uh, and uh, did I say that right? Am I out on? <laughs> I believe I've heard you play with the group before. Is what I'm saying. So. Uh, well, it, most of the problem is we got the sound. Coming That's out. right. I keep forgetting you've got the headphones and only. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, no, no, no. We're, we're getting ready. Uh, Cox is here to join us. Yes. Been by in a while. Yes. Our mandolin and uh, 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 wind player as well, correct? Whistles uh, yeah, and other ones. He typically plays a tin whistle. Yes. But, uh, those are sort of MIA. So instead, we brought the melodica. You want to give. Oh, yes. Yes. I just got a. Oh, yes. Beautiful. So we're gonna be using that a little bit today. Um, awesome. So uh, I don't think you're supposed to get that excited about a melodica, but I just did. Yeah. <laughs> so um, if if we could, we've got uh, we've got four songs, but it should fit within about ten minutes if that'll uh, work out. Oh, it, it will totally work out. Uh, ten cool. fifteen, you guys are good. Excellent. All right. Well then, um, here we go. We're gonna start out with a. a, a Song that's public domain. Yay. All right, yay, yay for not having to fight copyright. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, Let's start with that. All right.
That's awesome, man. So far, so good. Yes, indeed. Uh, I, I love that line there, uh, Beg and I will go. I'm not sure I've... Uh, I said I love the line there, Beg and I will go. That's a great, great, great tune. That's actually a compound of a couple of different uh, versions of the same premise. Nice. That I kind of mixed it all together. Right on, right on. Seemed to work out pretty well. That's what public domain is for, right? I mean, that's. Yes, I, it, that's I mean, to be honest, that's what the songwriter song uh, uh, storyteller tradition is all about. It's you know taking all these works and uh, letting them morph and alter and become other things as we uh, move through the the years. Yeah. Uh, so the next one we got is uh, the first song that we wrote for this uh, particular project. Um, don't do it all that often because it's the first song I did for the project and I'm <laughs> and, typically and you, a little sick of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, it's been a little while since we've done it, so I thought it'd be fun. And we're going to try uh, doing some Lodica with it. So that should be even funner. -er. Absolutely. Very good. Right. Cool. Oh, the, the duct tape. <laughs> you ready?
great song. Great song. And, and I have to admit now, I have to admit, guys, that uh, winter time uh, is is a very, very uh, great time for me because um, this might not be so good for you, but you are not on the road at the moment, <laughs> which means you have time to come and play songs for me on my show uh, because I know after March we will uh, – we will lose you guys for a little bit as you're out playing the many, many festivals that you do over the spring and summer and fall. So it's a real treat to have you with us here uh, today uh, for that reason. Uh, thank you. Absolutely. Um, I think we've got time for uh, one more, Mickey. What do you guys have in store for us? All right. Anyone? Leprechaun's gold or didn't sleep at all? Didn't sleep at all. Okay. So um, this one also has a bit of a story to it. Um, I've awesome. told it before. And this is the one uh, we were at Esco, and Joe wakes up just a little bit before I do because I get up and smoke. Oh, yes, she, right. Yeah. Yes. And she came in uh, or came out, and I said, How'd you sleep? She's all, I didn't. <laughs> and then I found list all the stuff that kept her away. And yes. I thought, in my infinite compassion, that'd make a great song. Yes, it does. <laughs> so this song's called uh, I Didn't Sleep at All Last Night. And by the way, Joe, isn't that just a wonderful thing? Oh, I'm sorry, she can't hear. But isn't it a wonderful thing to know that your list of complaints made it immediately into music? Oh, I, yeah, at least, at least my horrible night was worth something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right. All right. So are you? They're getting a good sound. Together and then I'll play it <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I didn't sleep at all last night. I didn't sleep at all. So we rang the bell and dressed it. Yeah, I didn't sleep at all last night. I didn't sleep at all last night. I didn't sleep at all. times you all have played that song live and Joe has really meant it <laughs> while she was singing it. How many times we got it live and you really meant it? <laughs> Most of the time. Uh, there you go. Guys, it's always a pleasure to have you on. I'm so glad that you, you joined us. Um, do you have anything uh, coming up uh, that you just want to talk about or any, any websites you want us to go to in the meantime while you're not playing? Um, well, you can always find us at CutthroatReef.com. Um, we update it uh, once every six months or so, so there's always new stuff. Um, Eventually. <laughs> uh, but 
Uh, we have the album on there, and if you got the album from us before, um, it didn't come with a, a lyric sheet on the inside because we nice. did it ourselves, and I'm broke. Um, <laughs> so I put all the lyrics to uh, all the songs on the album up online. And awesome, right. awesome. And they're 98% right. Um, <laughs> so uh, besides that, I'm going to start putting up my own YouTube videos of uh, Perfect. Uh, like Irish pub songs, and pr primarily that is other songs that are public domain for... Anybody to listen to and learn so they can sing along with us. And uh, yeah. I'm hoping to do all 100 nice. over the next year. Uh, wow, amazing. Week. So, that, that is an amazing and commendable goal. And I definitely wish you luck with that. I am I'm lucky sometimes, to yes, to get one recording a month. So that's, um, that's awesome. Go. Uh, well, I, I think we have managed to do it again, folks. We have wasted another uh, perfectly good Sunday afternoon. Uh, and we've done it very well. So, uh, William Drake, I want to thank you again for coming on and playing some songs for it. I always enjoy listening to your music, and uh, it was a wonderful, amazing set. So thank you for gracing us with your music today. It was my pleasure, uh, sir. Thank you for doing this. Excellent. And please come back. Please feel welcome to come back and join us uh, in, in one of the regular performance spots. I know we're booked out through March, but I would always love to have you on to give us a few tunes. So I'd love to I'd, do it. Excellent, excellent. Jason, Wes Jones, thank you so much for showing us your new toy, and I like the new sound. Uh, we'll, we'll have you back again in the near future. I don't know what the date is yet, but, uh, I mean, I do. I just saw my calendar in front of me. Um, so I'm looking forward to having you on as a featured artist. And, of course, um, uh, we are in negotiation with Cutthroat Reef for a, a featured set, though I think we're working out some technical details about uh, live performance at a uh, – uh, bar uh, or pub uh, and also broadcasting on the show so that should be very interesting anyhow uh, my name is Jonathan Blackshire thank you so much everybody for tuning in live or watching the YouTube video after the fact I appreciate uh, all the support that we get uh, for this and really it's just all about uh, sharing some good music and enjoying each other's company and I hope that you have enjoyed the music too uh, so be safe we'll see you again on the uh, third Sunday of the month um, talk to you all later, okay? Goodbye-bye. Namaste.